Most people would never guess that my natural hair looks like that. I'm gonna show you how I go from that to this with all the products I use, the devices I use, and I will tell you that this video is being sponsored by iRestore, and I'll get to more of that in a minute. Shower is done, and I wanted to tell you first off what I've been using in my hair because that really does make a difference in styling is the condition of your hair itself. For clarifying shampoo, I've been using this Olaplex. I will admit I get it for cheap because Rachel has an esthetician's license so she can go into Cosmoprof and get stuff a lot cheaper. I do think this is worth the money at their original retail price though. I think this is an extremely good clarifying shampoo without hurting your hair. I will give you another version of a clarifying shampoo in the description below that I also think is really good and I get it on Amazon. So, and it doesn't strip my hair either. Obviously I condition it with regular conditioner every time I wash my hair. Once every three times or whenever I do clarifying, I will do a mask and this is by far my favorite one. This is the Ava NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. This one's almost gone, I have one on order. It's very, very thick. It's got this weird consistency. It's almost like gel and wax became one. <laughs> it smells clean, it's not a heavy smell, and it really isn't there once you wash it out of your hair. I've said it many times, I'll say it again, this is one of the best things. I use this probably once a month. It's amazing to get your hair less frizzy. The next thing I will do is use Ava NYC Main Magic Primer for your hair. So this will help defrizz it, it will help detangle it, it will help protect it with heat protectant. To me, is one of the best products. It's easy to do it as far as like the um, nozzle, what's this called? The sprayer, I like it. I try not to get it too much anywhere near my roots, but it's not a big deal if it does. What I like about this is it doesn't leave my hair greasy. And then I use a wet brush to brush it out. And you can see almost immediately it comes out. Now also having done the mask in my hair helps as well. And I know I'm gonna talk about the eye restore in a minute, but I will say that that, because my hair doesn't fall out nearly as much, my hair doesn't get as tangled as much because a lot of times the stuff that's tangling my hair is the hair that's falling out. And because my hair doesn't fall out as much, it does help. So I know, I'll talk more about the Irish store in a minute, but I wanted to just put that part in there. This is the Lift Off Volumizing and Thickening Spray. I'm not gonna use it today only because I used the hair mask and this is thickening as well. But in between all that, I will use this and I'll get it on my roots. I literally just lift up, spray. I will also brush it through and it works wonders for giving yourself volume. The first thing I will do is blow my hair dry upside down. And I like the T3, I, I literally love it. Do I think you have to have this expensive of a blow dryer? No, I don't. Not for this specific one. I don't think it is the thing that breaks the deal. So if you wanna get a cheap one, go get a cheap one. I don't know, I do love it though. <laughs> Whenever I'm blowing my hair dry upside down, I point my blow dryer in the direction of the hair growth instead of the opposite. You'll have less frizz that way. It's about 70, 80% dry. Now this is a blow dryer that I do believe is worth the money. This is also a T3. It is not named on here. I don't know what the official name is, but it will be linked below. I think this is well worth the money. It comes with this and it also comes, this detaches, you just push up and it comes off and then when you wanna put it back on, you just put it in the slot and it clicks in and you're good. What I like about this is first off, it's a small barrel, so I can get it to have kind of a soft wave. I also like that it does not get so hot as in the Revlon 3-in-1 or whatever that thing's called. It gets too hot and I think it's too damaging for your hair. This doesn't damage my hair. It has many different um, heat points. It has an express one. It has, I don't know what this is, I forget. 
it has a cool shot push it it'll stay that way till you push it again so love that this is the point where this makes a difference as far as my styling I'm going to silence this so that you don't hear a blow dryer the whole time and I'll probably speed it up a little bit because this will take me a minute I have a lot of hair but I do want to show you this part there's just a couple things I want to point out. I go back and forth, so it's forward, backward, forward, backward, under, up, every which direction. I usually end with it twisting at the bottom to have it curl away from my face. Okay, the top of my hair came out. <laughs> I don't want that out. Put it back in. My hair is a bit damaged right now. I got it highlighted and she really highlighted it way too much. You can see the major blonde. I have breakage from it and you will see some hairs coming that weren't there before. That's from damage. This next section is where I get a lot of my volume. I'll incorporate the first section into the second section. I really try to get the blow dryer really close to my roots and then as I dry a section it will go forward over my head and that helps me keep the volume. This is my frizziest part because it's the damaged part. I'm going to actually section out an area. This is where I want all my volume and I'm going to brush it out first. This is the section that I struggle with the most because of the damage and the frizziness so I will go back and forth back and forth constantly until it's so completely dry otherwise I'll have frizz afterwards. And this is again where I want to get all my volume. All right, notice how I'm putting my hand underneath there as it's cooling. I just want it to be more volumized. So now I'm very hot. <laughs> Before we get to the next step, which is my favorite part of doing my hair, I do want to talk about the iRestore hair growth system and iRestore is sponsoring this portion of the video. I have been using this for over a year now and I do believe it has made a big difference on why my hair has grown as long as it has, how thick it has become. When iRestore reached out to me at that point my hair was falling out so fast. The shedding was unbelievable. I literally dreaded getting into the shower and washing my hair because literally I would just take huge clumps of hair off of my hands every time. They sent me this device. My hair is essentially stopped shedding. Do I lose hair? Of course I lose hair. Everybody loses hair. That's a normal thing to happen, but I was losing huge amounts of hair and this has pretty much stopped that. I'll tell you that the results that I have are not specifically results that you can see very easily because what I noticed is just a huge amount of thickness coming back into my hair and the fact that it has stopped falling out. So this is low level light therapy. Your hair is in the process of either growing, resting, or falling out. The light therapy essentially acts like water and nutrients that your hair follicles absorb. And what that does is it keeps your hair in the growing phase. This has 282 lasers and LEDs in it. What's the difference between the lasers and the LEDs? Lasers offer the depth of coverage. The LEDs offer the broad coverage. And they penetrate deep enough to be able to get actually to your hair follicles. It goes all the way down to the back of my head instead of just being in certain parts of my head. It's also important to me that this is FDA cleared so I know that it is okay for me to use it. And yes, you can use this in conjunction with topicals if you wanna to put a topical in your hair and iRestore does have topicals to be able to put into your hair. I like it because it's 25 minutes every other day. It gives you 25 minutes and it turns on and you can see it going on and off. It automatically shuts off and I'm done. If you want to purchase a separate battery so that you can walk around with it, it's so nice. I can put this on a belt loop or in my pocket. I can cook, I can put my makeup on, I can do all these different things and not have to worry about being attached to a wall. So you can save big right now using my code right here. You can save $425. So that's a huge sale. You do get a 12 month money back guarantee. Thank you iRestore for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's get into how I actually style my hair. I have three different size curling irons. The smallest one would be this one. I think it's one inch. I don't use this one very often. 
it gives me a much tighter curl. I like a more wavy curl than a tight curl. And all of these are hot tools. I think these are great. You can get them on Amazon. You can get it at Ulta. I will link a couple places where you can buy hot tools. The next one I use quite often is this one. This is actually two inches. I have this, ow, yeah, <laughs> it's hot. This is a two inch barrel. What this will do is it'll give me a wave. I always brush my hair out. Now I already have a heat protectant in it. So I don't have to worry about that, but this will just take it. I do it for a second and then I let it go and it just gives me a nice little wave. It's important to always let these things dry. dry. It's important to let these things actually cool down before you do anything to it because you will essentially just comb out the wave. The one I use the absolute most is the one and a half inch. So you can see the difference between the two. This one will give me an actual curl, but it's not a tight curl where I feel like I have ringlets around my head. I don't wanna have ringlets. So if I wanna have my hair not be completely straight like this to have it kind of have a wave back, I will use this one. So I will take my fingers and see how it just gives that wave without being a curl. That's why I like that one. Sometimes I will use that one first right after I've done my hair just to give it that movement in my hair without the actual curl. Divide my hair out because I do have a lot of hair, thanks to Iris Store. Well, and genetics. <laughs> I start at the, close to my head as I can and I kind of bring it out. This is kind of like taming all the flyaways. I bring all my ends almost in, bring it in and then I, unclip it a tiny bit and kind of go in to just get the ends the rest of the way. I feel it, I don't want it to be too hot. And then I come out and release. More of a ringlet, but it's elongated because I kind of pulled on it. Let me show you again. Get all my ends in, bring it in, and then I release it a little bit and keep turning because I want all those ends to be inside the curling iron so that they are not frizzy. Take it, kind of unwind it and pull so I'm not released and then release. And I'll take these and throw them back there because I don't want them to be squished. Now you can see the ends a little bit easier. I go in and see how the ends are not completely in the iron. I'm gonna release a little bit and bring them in. That's what I'm talking about. That makes a huge difference on my frizziness. Take it, undo it, pull it, and release. You wanna grab your hair vertically, not this way. So you can see it's going up and down. If I got my ends into the curling iron before I roll it up, it'll probably release my hair because I won't grab it in time. But if you roll it in, it grabs it, it's got time. If you feel like you let go of it, you can always just elongate it that way. Now the second layer. I always feel it because I can kind of tell when it's getting done enough, done, heated enough, pull it. let it go. Yeah, I let it go. Well, <laughs> it curled a good amount. You can see the breakage right there. So that's why heat protectant's very important. What I will often do is I will curl it this tight the first day because then each day it will kind of release more and more and I don't really have to recurl it at all. Sometimes I have to just touch up a little bit, but for the most part, my hair will stay looking good for three days. Now, I realize everybody's hair is different, and I also realize that I was born with good hair, that there is genetics in this. I totally get that, but there's also things that you can do to make your hair better, as in a hair mask, as in eye restore, as in 
taking good care of your hair, getting it professionally done sometimes, trims and all that stuff. Okay, what I will do now is just kind of look at different areas that look not curled, like right there, it doesn't look curled. I definitely missed a spot. Okay, I'm just looking in the back to make sure it looks pretty much done. That's what the back is looking like right now. What's important at this point is to let your hair just kind of sit in that style and the curl for a few minutes. Okay, this has had a chance to cool down. So the next thing I would do is just literally brush my fingers through it. It's that easy. As you can see, it takes away that curl curl. I don't want a curl curl. I really want just a nice wave to my hair and it has movement. Let me show you the back. <laughs> I haven't even seen the back. So I'm hoping it looks good. <laughs> On the side. And then I'll show you this side. So I wear my hair a lot. You guys have seen this. I will wear it to the side and then put my hair back on this side. I'll tell you a little secret. My natural part is actually going on this side. I switched it this way because I am right-handed. And when I write, I'm like this. And if the part was there, what would happen? You can see it when I do it. My hair goes into my face and I'm like trying to get it out of my face. It's much easier when there's a lot less hair on this side. When I started growing my hair out longer, I switched it. If I'm going to be outside or in high humidity, I will add a hairspray. Kenra 25 has been my go-to forever. I like it because it doesn't give me that crunchy feel. It, it helps keep the humidity out and it also holds the curl a bit longer. If I'm not like in the middle of winter or if I'm not going to be going outside and stuff, I probably will skip this step because I'm okay with my hair getting less curly than what it is. I don't care about that. I think prevention is one of the best things with keeping your hair looking good and that means that there are mistakes that I think people make when they are taking care of their hair. This video right here will show you some of those mistakes. I will hopefully see you in one of those or another one. Don't forget to check out iRestore in the description below. God bless.